I planted four Malbar spinach uh, starts here in this bed and I've got some TP bamboo stakes to help them climb and I had four of them here and one of them was completely devoured by snails and slugs despite having a bunch of slug bait around these so I still have three left and in order to save these last three I decided to put around the base of the plant a toilet paper roll and you could see it has copper tape around the top of it and so far that seems to be working um, these I don't think these toilet paper rolls are going to hold up too much longer because they get, when they get wet, they're getting really kind of soggy. So, so far they've been here for a couple of weeks and seem to be doing much better. This one here was eaten pretty bad and it still has a few leaves and getting some new ones. This one here you could see just a little red stem from what used to be a plant and I don't think that one's going to get any more leaves. I do have one seed left, so I may plant that last seed over there and see what happens. I planted six different varieties of beans and they all did pretty well. Lots, especially the pole beans all germinated. Um, but this Kentucky Wonder, not so good. I planted four seeds and only one of them came up and that's it right there. Not much to look at, and I don't think it's going to really do anything. I can't tell if it got eaten by something, or if it just didn't grow very well. So I think I was going to try and plant some more of this variety, but I think instead I'm going to go with a different variety. I have some seed exchanges for beans coming up here pretty soon, and I'm hoping to get a black one, and I'll I'll be planting that instead of this Kentucky Wonder. But here's the rest of them. They're all looking pretty good. So it's unfortunate. Kentucky Wonder did not work out for me. Maybe I'll try it again a different year with some different seed. So I grew pak choy this year in between my onions and in with my lettuces. And this one also bolted pretty quickly. I was able to harvest a couple of them before they bolted, but that too has become chicken feed. So that's unfortunate, but I'll, I'll try again. Maybe a little bit earlier in the spring or this fall. When it gets colder, I should be able to have some pretty good luck with it. As I mentioned, I have onions and lettuces between my rows of onions. I've got about five or six different varieties of onions. Um, one of the ones I have is called Stutter Garter that I got from a seed exchange, and that's this row here. And for some reason I had a little bit of a problem with this one. I had planted two rows, but the row here that I'm showing now, that's actually a different onion because most of those that were planted here, the Stutter Garter, ended up dying. So I move the, what was left, which was only two or three of them, into this other row that the other stutter garters were in. And luckily I had some extra onions from a, di a different kind, so I ended up planting the Elsa Craig here where the stutter garter was planted. I started all my lettuce indoors back in February, and I pretty much started them all at the same time, which was mistake number one. So I've heard lots of people say you should stagger your lettuce so that they don't all come ready to harvest at once. But I didn't listen and I just started them all at once and planted them out in the yard all at once. So they've kind of overtaken my onions and are squashing them and making them fall over and it's not good. But I've been trying to eat it as fast as I can and luckily it hasn't bolted too badly so it's still, still salvageable. Um, the biggest problems are the butter crunch and the romaine. So this is a butter crunch right here. And that is, I think I've only got a couple of those left. I've been trying to eat those first because they've grown the, the biggest. And then the romaine here, I've still got a few of those left. And it, these little ones here, kind of bushy, those are actually um, romaine that I've already harvested 
and I just I just cut them I didn't pull it up from the root but I I just cut the the bottom off and it started growing again so I've got I think three of those that are already growing from where I picked it last so I haven't even had to replant those um, but I've got some other lettuces here that that are getting pretty wide and I need to get those picked and then I've got some other endive type things here and and these are actually not getting too big or maybe I space the onions out further over here but those are all, all doing okay so I, I'm not too worried about those but yeah it's the romaine and butter crunch that that are getting pretty bad so next time I'll definitely stagger my lettuces like they recommend